is the hallmark of a career devoted to accomplishing broad and diverse tasks which highlight the culmination of 26 years of honorable and dedicated naval service. Captain Holmes' professionalism and devotion to duty reflected great credit upon herself and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. For the President, signed C. R. Larson, Admiral, Commander-in-Chief, United States Pacific Fleet. Rear Admiral Halder will now present Captain Holmes with an oak leaf stained glass window. Captain Mary Ann Stratton, Nurse Corps, United States Navy, will now present Captain Holmes with a flag which flew in her honor over the United States Capitol on the occasion of the 82nd anniversary of the Navy Nurse Corps. Presented, presented to Captain Sandra Holmes, on behalf of your many shipmates, including those that have made the supreme sacrifice, we wish to present to you what is known as the military member's most honored and cherished possession the United States National Ensign. Flag of the United States of America, one great nation which you have so proudly served and honorably defended. This flag, which we so honor and under which we so proudly serve, is the true emblem of our unity, our power, our purpose as a nation. Accept it, protect it, guard it, and so ever remember that the young men and women you have trained, guided and inspired, will follow in your footsteps and defend it with equal pride. On this, it is considered that we have lost a true shipmate while society has gained a fine citizen. We bid you fair winds with following seas. Good luck and Godspeed. Captain Stratton will now present Captain Holmes with a letter of appreciation from Rear Admiral Mary Hall, Director for Navy Nurse Corps. Dear Captain Holmes, it is with sincere pleasure that I express to you my appreciation for your loyal service in the Nurse Corps of the United States Navy. Throughout your career, you have demonstrated excellence as a nurse clinician, educator, and administrator. You significantly impacted the Navy Medical Department through application of your exceptional professional skills, proficient management ability, and profound dedication to duty. You have significantly contributed to the professional development of Nurse Corps officers by ensuring the highest quality of education. Your performance has been marked by a deep sense of commitment to the tenets of patriotism and duty with honor. As you reflect upon your service to your country, you can feel a deep sense of personal satisfaction based on the record of your accomplishments. I wish you continued success in your future personal and professional endeavors. Sincerely, Mary F. Hall, Rear Admiral, Director for Navy Nurse Corps. Commander Select Joseph Miller, Nurse Corps, United States Navy. Chief Hospital Corpsman Russell Youngblood, United States Navy. And Mrs. Bonnie Gilley will make presentations on behalf of the Staff Education and Training Department. On behalf of the Staff Education and Training Department, Commander Select Miller presents to Captain Holmes this shadow box representing special moments in her naval career.
Chief Hospital Corpsman Youngblood presents this command plaque to Captain Holmes from the Staff Education and Training Department. Mrs. Gilly will now present Captain Holmes with 26 roses in commemoration of her 26 years dedicated service to the Naval Nurse Corps and the United States Navy. Kirk Holmes, would you escort your father up front next to your mother, please? Rear Admiral Halder will now present Commander Richard Holmes, United States Navy, retired naval aviator, with a letter of appreciation. The commanding officer takes great pleasure in presenting to Commander Richard Holmes, United States Navy, retired, a letter of appreciation in recognition of services as set forth herein given in grateful appreciation for unselfish, faithful, and devoted service during your wife's naval career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible Captain Sandra Holmes' lasting contribution to the nation. Given this 29th day of June, 1990, signed R.B. Halder, Rear Admiral, Medical Corps, United States Navy, Commanding Officer. Rear Admiral Halder will now present Kirk Holmes with a special certificate of appreciation. This certificate is awarded to Kirk A. Holmes. To thank you for your original and colorful artwork which decorated your mother's office and brightened each day. Your rainbow of pictures added a ray of sunshine and brought a smile to everyone who saw them. Given this 29th day of June, 1990, signed M.J. Benson, Captain, Medical Service Corps, United States Navy, Director for Administration, and R.B. Halder, Rear Admiral, Medical Corps, United States Navy, Commanding Officer. Lieutenant Commander Cohn, Nurse Corps, United States Navy, will now present Mrs. Walter S. Kirkpatrick, Captain Holmes' mother, with a corsage. As Captain Holmes' last official act, she and Commander Select Miller will commission HM-1 Kathy Shivington. Hospital Corpsman First Class Kathy Shivington, front and center. <laughs> 